If you watched my Lana Turner middle part hair tutorial video, then you're probably gonna like this style as well because it's quite similar. The results just aren't as curly, just a little bit smoother, more of a page boy with a slight wave in the front and a very soft look. For this tutorial, I'll be using the roll and go hair tool, duck bill clips, and bobby pins or hair pins, a comb, and setting lotion to set the curls. For the hair preparation, my hair is freshly washed and still damp, but partially dried. To start out, I'm creating a middle part, and we're going to form our hair sections using a rat tail comb. Create a square section behind each ear and section off that hair with a duck bill clip. The remaining section will be the back and you can separate that area as well. Start out by combing out the hair section and creating your first row with your rat tail comb. The width of your row should equal the width of the pin curl that you want to make. If you're using your fingers to make your pin curls, you can hold two fingers from the hair parting to decide the width of your row. Separate a pin curl section with your rat tail comb. To make things easier, you might want to start from the back and work your way forward. To set better curls, you're going to want to use a product. Today, I'm using the Perfect Setting Lotion by the brand Wella. Make sure you don't have too much hair in your section before creating your pin curl. To form the pin curl, I'm using the Roll and Go hair tool, which creates a pin curl the size you would use if you were using a two finger method. Roll the curl up to the scalp and add your bobby pins. I'll be using two pins per pin curl, creating a crisscross shape. Repeat this step until you run out of hair in this row. A few things to keep in mind when creating your pin curl wet set is to disperse the product evenly and keep the hair smooth. Notice the direction that your pin curl is facing. That will determine the wave pattern. For this first row, the pin curls are all rolled backwards and will create a clockwise pin curl when looking from above. Once you've completed the first row, you can move on to the section above the ear. To make a wave, this section will be rolled in the opposite direction. As you can see, those pin curls are counterclockwise. The wave pattern will continue in the pin curl behind the ear, as it is once again going clockwise, just like our first row. This pin curl pattern is designed to create soft waves framing the face, but the back will have the pin curls going in mostly the same direction, forming one soft fold. Moving on to the right side, you'll be repeating the whole process we did on the left, but you're creating a mirror of that setting pattern. For the back, you can continue the rows all the way around to the other side, but choose one direction for the pin curls. All of my curls in the back were rolled clockwise. Finish it off with a final spray of setting product and allow to dry. So it is the next day and I'm ready to take out all of the bobby pins. If you notice, I'm sitting on the floor and that's because my camera battery died and I have to plug it in to use it until the other one charges. But my hair is completely dry. It is the next afternoon and I'm going to remove all the bobby pins and we can start the brush out. After carefully removing all the bobby pins and the hairnet that I wore for sleeping, it's time to toss all those curls. To add some texture, I'm going to use some of my J. Crew pomade and apply a light amount throughout the hair. To brush out the curls, I'm using my Denman D3 7 row styling brush, working from the bottom up to the top. Of course, you don't have to brush out the hair. If you prefer it curly, wear it just like it is. To smooth out the hair, I'm using my Denman Finisher Brush, 
folding the ends of the hair over my hand. To reinforce the waves, I'm going to use my duck bill clips and position some grooves with my comb. I actually really liked how it looks with the duckbill clips, and if you prefer that appearance as well, you can maintain that by pinning the hair up in position. For that, you can use bobby pins or hair cones, similar to how I styled my Lana Turner brush out, with a more pinned back look. And to set the style, I'm using a few spritz of the Fine Mist Hairspray by Oribe. If you prefer a softer and fuller style brush out that aren't super, super curly and won't take as long to brush out, then this style is for you. If you're new to using the roll and go hair tool, I do have a video where I kind of show my techniques on how I use it. Um, I think it's a great tool to have if you want to master larger pin curls for styles like this or for any kind of vintage roll, victory rolls, and you can do them in a variety of sizes. While I have you here, I have made some recent updates to the Miss Chi Dupuy website, so feel free to check it out. You'll see all of my latest video uploads and an online shop as well where you can easily find all of my favorite hair products and styling tools. Hopefully I'll have a more 1940s version of this look out soon with the smaller pin curls from the Pin Curl Sculpture Tool. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and that you'll give it a try. 